So, Julius, um, the theme of our stand at EcoBuild is the S word, sustainability. I'm just wondering what that word means to you. <laughs> I think it's one of those words which has multiple meanings. I think if I think hard, ultimately I think I've got uh, three children and I'd like to make sure that the world that uh, they have to live in the future uh, is, is one that works. And unless we think about how we do things, how we use things, it isn't going to work. That's the bottom line of what okay. I think it means to me. Yeah. So how do you see sustainability fitting into the, uh, the story of Kingston University? Uh, whatever anyone does, be they uh, working in health, training an engineer, a dancer, everything we do, um, there are aspects to it which you can do either sustainably or not. So it's about thinking how can we weave the story of sustainability really into everything that we do at uh, Kingston. Not just because it's trendy, mm. uh, but actually when it's the right thing to do. And I think it's one of the current intellectual challenges. Uh, and it's one of the things that makes universities, research, university education, um, an interesting thing is to say, well, can we do things better in the future? And that's about thinking sustainably. Okay, so you see it as being a pillar of Kingston's identity, um, both internally, but also facing to the outside world. Um, I'm thinking at the moment about what the pillars are going to be, um, whether it's a pillar, whether it's something that runs across the whole university, exactly how we think about it. But I think thinking about sustainability is something that most universities are going to do. I don't think that would be particularly unique. Mm. But if we don't do it, then I think we're letting our students and our staff down. Okay. So yeah. I think it's a, a necessary condition now. Sure. Um, could I ask you a bit about you know you as a as a person as an individual? Right. Um, is there something you've done in the last twelve months? You made a lifestyle change to reduce your ecological impact. Is there something that you can yeah. you can think of? I, I I cycle. I cycle most places. I actually always have. Um, I cycle to work. Um, I use public transport. I don't use a car around town at all. Um, between my partner and I, we only have one rather small car. Um, I suppose we have decided in the last year to try and cut out long haul flying, which is probably one of our sins, okay. if we can, and actually holiday more locally. Um, so we're not perfect, but we try. Yeah. Is that something you found quite difficult to do, to cut out the, the eco sin of, of long haul travel? Um, well, you know, to be honest, travelling to exotic places is fun. Um, and sometimes there are good reasons. My daughter's been working in Calcutta for the last couple of years on and off, so mm. I've been there to visit her. Um, for work, okay. I have to travel. Um, I'd rather not sometimes. To be honest, I've got fed up with long haul travel, so for, okay. for holidays I prefer to go locally. Okay. Um, and I, I decided just to buy French and Italian wine rather than uh, okay. Ita rather than Australian and South Africa. Yeah. So do you think the higher education sector can be a positive force in driving the sustainability agenda? You know, we have the market, we have government, consumers. Where do you think the university sector fits in in affecting change? Well, universities are about changing the way that people think. If universities don't change the way that people think, if universities don't debate complex, difficult arguments, they're not doing what they should. Um, so if universities aren't engaged in ourselves thinking and getting our students to think about sustainability, then frankly we're not doing what we're here to do. Um, so I think it's pretty fundamental. Not just sustainability, there are other things we should be thinking about, the impact of globalisation, about ethics across all our courses, um, but sustainability is one of those key issues. Yeah. I mean, to what extent do you feel that uh, you know the S word, sustainability, is, is kind of taking over and people are using it to describe lots of things which you know, maybe aren't particularly sustainability related. Uh, I, I think that's probably true to an extent. I don't think it matters. I mean, it's like a lot of these things, at least the words on the agenda, then you can start to unpick what people mean and mm. get engaged in the discussion. And sometimes, I mean, I think there was a very interesting article, for example, recently by George Monbiot, uh, revisiting his critique of uh, eating meat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we need to continually rethink, and there are various different ways you can analyse the data. The essence of universities is, being, is critique, and yes. continue to think about it, and try to come to the right place. So I, I'm not critical about how people use the word sustainability, as long as they allow mm. a developed discussion about it. Yeah, I mean, could you consider having a school or a faculty of sustainability studies? Would that make sense, as having a, a separate standalone faculty devoted to that subject? Um, 
I'm a nihilist about organisational structures. I, what matters is whether the discussion is happening, not how it's labelled. Um, if discussions about sustainability aren't happening because of the faculties we have, then we need to think about changing things. Okay. If we can encourage people to work across boundaries, wherever you put boundaries, they're in the wrong place. Yeah. So it's about how people work across boundaries. And actually, I think in a way, I would prefer to see sustainable sustainability thinking spread across the university as a way of bringing people together rather than pushing it in one place as something separate that others then don't think about. Okay. Yeah. So we have the sustainability hub already, as you're probably yeah. aware. Yeah. So yeah, you see that as being an important I think ongoing. That is important. I think it should be a resource that people draw upon and I think uh, one of the jobs of my jobs is creating the opportunities for serendipities to occur. So trying to get those who might be thinking about sustainability in different ways and different faculties together so they can share ideas and spark the idea that they wouldn't have had if they didn't meet. Okay. Um, yeah. That's a key issue for, okay. for universities. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. I think our five minutes are just about up. So. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you very much.